guys welcome to my channel in today's video I am going to be trying out Walmart's chalk paint this is Waverly inspirations and this is ocean color I'm going to be using it on this uh, end table I have not tried this chalk paint before so I am interested to see the quality and see how it does so if you'd like to see this end tables transformation just keep watching so I bought this little end table at my local thrift store for five dollars it was super dirty and dusty. It looked like it had been sitting in storage for quite a while. It's in good structure condition, but the top does have some wear and some watermarks. So to start things off, I gave it a really good cleaning. I went ahead and removed the drawers so that it would be easier to paint them. The next step, I will be priming the table. Although the table does have some solid pieces of wood in it, it is not completely all wood, so I'm not going to be sanding today, so I will be using a high quality adhesive primer, which is perfect for this piece and will also help with any bleed through from the dark wood stain. So now that I have the entire piece primed, it is time to start painting. I am going bold with this bright blue color and I'm using this chalk paint from Waverly Inspirations. It was about $10 for this 16 ounce bottle. I was actually surprised with the amount of coverage that this paint had. It had good coverage and was nice thickness and overall it went on really well and was pretty consistent in coloring. Once I let the paint thoroughly dry, I applied a second coat of paint. After allowing the two coats of paint, I will be sealing it using this polyurethane triple thick water-based polyurethane. This polyurethane is super concentrated and really thick, so I went ahead and left my stirring stick in the container so that I could stir it occasionally. This stuff dried pretty quick, so once you brush it on, there wasn't much more brushing you can do without leaving some streak marks, so I had to be careful with the brush strokes. Since this was a thicker polyurethane, I only applied one coat to the frame and the drawers, but I did go ahead and apply a second coat to the tabletop for extra protection. After cleaning up the old hardware, I spray painted them using this metallic gold spray paint. So now that it is all done, just a quick reminder of what this end table looked like before, and here it is now. I love the bold color, and I think the gold knobs really make this piece pop, and I think it came out really nicely. roughly about five dollars in supply between the paint and the sealer so I listed the end table on Facebook marketplace for $85 I sold it within two hours for asking price so that is a profit of around $75 thank you so much for watching this video if you are not already a subscriber and you are interested in different crafty DIY furniture flipping home renovations all sorts of stuff be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also if you could give this video a big thumbs up on your way out and we will see you guys next time